So I've got that guy recovered. I've got two 410A systems and two R22 systems. The first two are done. I'm using separate tanks, obviously. Uh, I've got more pressure in my tank now because this is the second one. 50 pound tanks should be capable of holding the, their 14 pounds each. So 30 pounds, I should be good there. But my recovery machine cut out on pressure. So what I've done is disconnected my low side and I've got this valve cracked and I'm connected back to the low side of my system. It seems to be doing pretty well. I'm dropping pretty good, but it's lowered the temperature of my tank. It's still warm, but it's allowing my recovery machine to keep operating. They are demo in this building, so I don't have a good way to keep that tank cool. There's no water on site. I would have to drag up a bucket maybe if I could find some water, but that's where I'm at. It seems to be working. I'm just kind of monitoring at this point. Let me know what y'all think. Well, what do you do? Uh, it's not a true push pull, I guess. There's no true liquid line on the system, but it seems to be helping me at least keep the pressure down in my tank. And I know the first comment is going to be subcooler. Well, I don't have one, so if you want to send me one, I'd love to put it in line here. So give me some other options. Got something a little different going on today. This old guy here and my little friends. It's about 60 degrees out today, so it's too cold for them guys. Uh, store's getting demolished. I'm here to recover all the refrigerant out of the four package units. And I'm recovering. I figured I'd take a minute out and just uh, talk about a couple things. Um, just signs that work has been done. Suction line filter dryer. They don't come from the factory like this. So if you see a suction line filter dryer, it's likely the compressor has been replaced. And if you look back in here, you can see that dryer has got some burn marks on top of it. And it's a aftermarket dryer. Looks like a spoiler one probably. So that dryer has been replaced as well. And we can look at the welds on the compressor. This looks like a pretty good braze joint, but you can tell that's not a factory joint. You can see it there. It's filled in that little piece because they popped it out at one point and put it back in. So if we walk over to the other one, this old guy's had probably 10 compressors in it. That's from probably the 80s, early 90s. This guy has not had a compressor replaced. The dryer on it. That's a factory braze joint. And a factory dryer. We can see there's no suction line dryer. And these joints look nice and clean as well. And you can see that's not filled in there. So it's only been brazed on once. Just some things to look for. If you ever get an old guy like this, Always steal your economizer plug. Sometimes they'll be left in here if it has an economizer. A lot of times they're not because service guys will steal them. I pulled this plug and that plug already um, and got them on my truck. I'm gonna, I've got some already, so I'm gonna share them with a couple of our guys. But always, especially if they're demoing these things, pull these plugs. Anything else that you might be, might be usable, I like to tear off of these things. This is an old R22 train somebody already tore the boards out of because that's what they wanted, I guess. Um, I took the terminal block that's usually here because those are useful as well. Those break, they're pretty thin and flimsy. If you're not careful with them, they'll snap off. So it's always nice to have one of those. So I'm just working on getting everything recovered. Thought I'd bring you guys out, just show you a few things. This is an old building. This is some of the crap you see. Old electrical. This stuff actually doesn't look too bad. Always watch out for your thermostat wires when they run them like this. These things will corrode and break and short out. But it's like they had some roof problems as well. I don't know how much of this done was, was done after the fact, but anyways, this was just a short one. Leave the trade bear and you found it. See y'all next time.